Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with just some fucking toast. That's right, a lot of people are completely out of work due to the pandemic. And so I thought I'd show you how to make the best, most affordable toast ever. And we're going to do it all without even using one of those prohibitively expensive toaster ovens. I mean, seriously, this toast is so good, you're going to wonder how you've been eating that other stuff for so long. So the first thing we're going to need are our dry ingredients, which are two pieces of bread, a tablespoon of butter, and some cayenne. And I like to use rye, but you can use whole wheat or sourdough or whatever you like best. I mean, you guys are, after all, the call and jost of your fucking toast. So let's take our tablespoon of butter and put it in the pan over medium heat. And if your butter is bubbling and smoking like this, it's probably because your pan is too hot from those last pieces of toast you just made. But you forgot to hit the record button, so now you're making more toast and actually filming it. And that's okay. So we're going to let that butter melt down, and then place our two pieces of bread right in the melted butter. And we're going to give it the old spin a spin to make sure it soaks up all that butter. And then just leave it. Walk away for a few minutes. Don't touch it, no matter how much you might want to. And then when you check to see if it's done, don't worry if you accidentally rip off a piece of the crust. I'm sure nobody will notice. And when it's a beautiful golden brown, go ahead and give it a flip to just lightly toast the other side. And that's it. Now all we have to do is garnish it with a pinch of kosher salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and just a tiny shake of cayenne. And that's it! Your toast is done! And making your toast on the stove this way ensures such a perfect crispy exterior. I mean, just listen to this. Oh, that's right. You know Fork Don't Lie. So at this point, there's nothing left to do except dig in. And my friends, let me tell you, this is the best toast you will ever have. I mean, it's just so beautifully crisp and buttery, and that tiny hint of cayenne really brings out the feeling of fire in your throat that no amount of milk will quench. But anyway, that's it. What I'm calling just some fucking toast. It's just so delicious and easy to make, which is why I really do hope that you give it a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.